Hello everyone, it's Noah here, the scientist extraordinaire! And this here is my minion, Maxson. Maxson smells weavers. <laughs> they smell tasty. As you can see, he is very friendly. And I'm sure you all wonder how I got here. I used to be the royal scientist, but one day, the king told me that it was time for me to go and explore the world. Noah, I am fed up with your shitty experiments. Get the fuck out of my tassel. But, but my king, I said out. Now, as I was exploring the wilderness, I came across Maxson, and we decided to enlighten the world by spreading our knowledge. Bass, this is the fifth village we got kicked out of in the same week. With this speed. We'll have nowhere to go in this planet by the end of the year. Worry not, Matson. I have a plan. You and I will become celebrities, and then everyone will love us. But boss, we have no talent or skill. And sincerely, you fight everything you touch. Shut up, Matson. We'll become VTubers. Even I cannot mess that up. And that's how I decided to become a VTuber. Purely out of my love to inform and entertain the world. <laughs> huh? You want to see how my progress has been so far? Well, then check these clips. Are you tired of sending rockets to the graveyard with boundaries effects? Do you just want to special summon large bonduses from your hand? Would you like to find out why Bishida is limited? Then, you have come to the right place, which is introducing Dragon Mill 7! Now, let's have a look at the deck list. I have adjusted the deck to always go second, and there are many cards in the deck for that synergy. First of all, I am playing 10 hand traps. Pale Flame is the best artifact set for Eula, but if you wish, you can combine it with Bloodstained Chivalry too. All her talents are equally important, but I would suggest to upgrade in the order of Burst, Base Attack, then Steel. I personally use Chi Chi for healing and elemental particles, Garden Shodan for super combat and energy recharge, and Jinyan for increased physical damage and shield. Now, let's move on to Battle Pack 3, Monster League. This set is all the way back from 2014, so it's not very easy to find. However, none of the cards in this set is particularly expensive, which is why I was still able to get it for such a low price. This pack does contain some older cards, some of which may be nostalgic to some of you, so I hope we can pull some of those. We have... The Immortal Bushi. Banner of Courage, oh boy. Let's go for terraforming. The Multiro Lash is actually pretty good here. The second dash is not very useful though. Select the- oh, well, they just surrender. Okay. Well... Oh! <laughs> wow! Hey, did we actually get a super chat? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that. Thank you for the super chat donation. You didn't even leave, that, even leave a message, but thank you very much for that. Wow. <laughs> and Z20 dollars. I don't know what currency that is, but like, I don't know. That's my first ever super chat ever. So congratulations. <laughs> and thank you very much. And yeah, I basically had access to Ray, uh, the comments, and they just kind of surrendered immediately. Well, it feels good to be dry to it, doesn't it? They, they just can't do anything about it. And I like match C and then go full combo on their next turn. Well, game two. Call by the game and it is until the end of the next turn. Does it? But, uh, will it be? Yes, it does actually. I, I did not actually know that, so <laughs> I, I, I guess Call by wasn't even needed, but they're going to do it anyway. Um, it, I mean, it does look like neither of the players knew that either, so that's a fun fact. <laughs> what I usually do is to keep their Blood Jordan alive and to stop them to be able to use them from using their Blood Jordan, and that's a really interesting way of dealing with it. Oh, and I think we finally have our game, actually. We do indeed. 